This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. A man's 31 foot $90,000 boat is stolen from a Hialeah home and it's all caught on camera. Surveillance video shows a group of thieves using a pickup truck to haul the boat away overnight. This happened at 4th Avenue and East 60th Street. The owner says it probably took them less than a minute to get away. It's described as a red and white fountain. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Miami Beach Police is investigating the mysterious death of a 77 year old man. Neighbors say there was a stench and that they assumed it was a dead animal. Instead, the body was found Tuesday night by a building manager. Neighbors say they hear it was a gruesome and bizarre crime scene. It's like a scene out of CSI Miami. It's not something that you would ever actually think happens in real life. Samurai swords, bizarre sayings written on the wall. Police believe this was an isolated incident and neighbors say they do not feel concerned or on edge. Florida is one step closer to allowing teachers to be armed in school. The Florida House passed the measure as part of a larger school safety bill on Wednesday. School districts have the, they have the option to opt in the expand program and teachers who want to carry a gun need to volunteer and undergo rigorous training. In South Florida, Miami-Dade and Broward schools say they will not opt into the program. The bill now goes to Governor Ron DeSantis for his signature. In the past, he has said he supports the idea. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Thursday morning, and it is a wet start. As you can see from our Windjammer Azora camera, Lauderdale by the sea, the raindrops on the camera lens, rough surf, also dealing with a dangerous high risk of rip currents. Either way, it's not a great day to be out on the beach or to head boating as we're dealing with these showers and storms. Mid to upper 70s, mild muggy start. A disturbance over the Bahamas is leading to plenty of moisture, and we're seeing that in the form of precipitation across Broward and Miami Dade, especially the Keys have been quiet, but showers are streaming in around Deerfield Beach, Pompano Beach, Oakland Park, Fort Lauderdale, stretching through Sunrise, Davie, West End, Hollywood, Hard Rock Stadium, and even through North Miami Beach, North Miami Bay Harbor Islands, Miami Beach, Opelaka, Miami Lakes. And we've also had some showers across Southern Dade County. The winds right now pretty calm in spots, except down through the Keys out of the south, and highs will climb to around 85 today. Breezy showers on and off again, and a few storms, so just keep the umbrella close. The future radar is showing us us that yep there will be the potential for scattered showers as we head throughout the morning and even into lunchtime so yeah you're going to want to keep the ring your handy and for the evening rush it could be very soggy with the potential for storms and some heavy downpours so localized street flooding could be an issue for many areas for tonight scattered showers mild and muggy low 70s that deep moisture remains in place especially today keeping the rain chance high and even into your Friday and then the tail end of that moisture could leave us unsettled for the weekend but we'll also be heating up to on 90 Saturday and Sunday with a chance for afternoon storms. Maribel. Lizette, thanks. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11. Follow up today's important headlines.